Good morning, my beautiful artists, my friends. How are you today? I don't have very long to work on this because I'm working on getting up yesterday's video. And what else am I doing? Having my coffee, trying to. I think I'm within the first cup. Good morning. Cheers. This where I left off. I was worried about those overlapping, wasn't I? So, I, of course, I've been watching videos nonstop. Because that's what I do when I need to figure out this issue, right? Okay, so that's the... Okay, so we know that with this paper... This is why I just lightly tacked it down, because this obviously... Don't... Really don't stick to everything, please. Okay, come back here. Yes. Sorry, I didn't say that out loud. <laughs> okay. So a couple key things they said was making sure your creases. I'm gonna save that for the big center. Gotta make sure that your creases are very sharp. And I'm also going to be probably changing the, the shape of that a little bit here. So I would assume if you had a bone folder, that would be excellent. I want to use something that's going to hold up over time. I need two of these. And then I'll work on the center one after. It doesn't matter. Here, I can just make sure it's mostly straight here. And now I'm just being hyper particular. All right, so we know that this worked. Anybody see the lid? Oh, this one actually has the lid on it. Surprise. Oh, God, Steffi. Anybody see the lid to this one? Oh, God. Oh, you can tell when I really get into something. Everything else just kind of disappears, right? Um... Okay, so I was going to change that up. So I know that I can go this tall. So what I'm going to do... This is going to get covered with red, so it's okay. So let's go with a little point here. Where those poles would be sticking up. Something along that line. And then, you know... We still have to make sure that this tucks in, so it might not tuck in if I go that tall, which I believe is what I'm running into for the center one. Part of me wants to do a pull-up thing. If I do some sort of pull-up, then, I don't know, can I combine the folds with the pull-up and scissors? I, I know I have one in here. Okay, where's the lid for that one? Cheapers. Found that lid. Scissors. Found the remote. <laughs> okay, people. So, no, we 
don't want to mess up these scissors. Okay, so we're thinking about the tent props. that graphic as the line. So I'm also going to trim here. And then I'm going to trim here. So I want to try to leave as much connection space as possible, but that's not going to work with how I want to construct this. Okay, so the more that I keep the angle open, the more it'll lay flat like I want it to. Another thing that they recommended was to have very you know, sharp creases. Well, this does not have a sharp crease at all. Has kind of a mushy crease due to three layers of athletic tape. One more time. It's just never enough time. A big lump right there. I don't have the energy to work at this at night. I'm getting ready for that show. Really, this takes a lot of brain power, so if I'm not in it mentally, I really don't want to come to this book at night. And frankly, I'm just hella tired by the time I get done with my day. Why? Why, 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 why? So again, this one worked. This one won't. So the only thing that I can think of is that center point has to be offset. Because it's not going to fold down unless it is. 
I'm not going to tuck all the way back in. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know me, but now I've got like five other things going through my brain. You know, you know how I do it. Okay. So let's give that a little bit more space. cut down a little bit because we needed to. I don't like that I'm having to cut down my tent poles. You know what that means. It means that there's a 95% chance I'm going to turn around and just glue it over the top again like it had it been originally. not good. I know I'm close.
actually am okay with that. But this needs to Gonna work. We can do a point, do a point, point. This is right. I'm putting a massive crease in here, and I don't know if it's right. Okay. So let's point it down. Taking out more bulk. Really bulky under here. That was a lot of work. Come on. And yes, I am thinking about scrapping this book and starting over because I know I could do it better. don't want to ruin this the integrity of these folds. So what I have to do is make one strip that's clean, that's straight, ish. Where's all of this stuff? What time is it? God dang it. All right, so we want something that's this is a cross banner. It's gonna be eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
easy way to do this, easier way to do this, get your metal edge. Nope, it's not. Don't listen to me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My metal ruler would make this much easier. This is having gaps in it, that's why it's doing that. It's on a flat surface. Yada, yada, yada. Fold and fold her back into the. And then you know where it is. Ah! Funny, huh? Do I ever know where anything is? And let's make sure I'm not sticking my hands in these guys. No, it's not good to put your blades face down like that, but oh, I really will just stick my hand in them, so, I, you know. I've got so much paper piled on this work desk. And again, this is not my priority right now. I should not be working on this. Right. So we do want that to come down over here. Likely, we're going to have another uh, strip over the top where those patches are going to be. I still want to cut it this way, but I, I kind of want to have it hidden. Glue. Liquid stitch. I could use Mod Podge. I just don't know how the Mod Podge will work with this fabric. Very slick fabric. I don't have time. Oh, darn it. I have to take a shower today. Yesterday I didn't leave enough time to wash my hair. So you jump in the shower for two seconds, it runs off, and you run to work. It's not like I got dirty yesterday, though. I took a shower on Sunday. You know, I, didn't, I wasn't doing any activity, so it's not gross, trust me. Really not. It's actually just kind of my life. I did shower. I just didn't wash my hair. I gotta wash my hair today. I'm going to go and meet up with friends tonight to work. That'll be good. Except I need to work. Of course, if you put Mod Podge on one part, you got to put Mod Podge on all parts. Because that is going to affect how this um, paper receives any treatment and we know that I am not going to leave it this bright ass red. I should probably not say that word.
again, we're laying, layering another layer of product onto the piece, which will give it more. Thickness. That's the word. Should I do that to everything? Just keep layering and it makes it more thick. <laughs> Sorry. Personal. this have too much thickness in here? No, it was the book edge. Okay. Um, I don't know where my other strips are here. That's a partial piece. This one long one. Eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I know. I just did a bunch of these. Where they are? I don't know. Maybe it was that one. Trying to get this band to look correct. There we go. Now, is it going downward? Just make sure this, because this is important. Can I lift it up and change it still? Just like, oh, well, it's an even. Me. Oh, dang. Should have made that even. And it's like, well, it's kind of quirky if you don't leave it even. Oh, yeah, it is. put on those movie theater oh I gotta, I gotta color this stuff first here all right Get down to the edges without getting our frayed fabric because we want it to keep fraying just have another time to complete that Fired brick. Okay, I got some shimmer spray. Oh, we do not want black. Silver. Red. Green. Antique. Antique. Fired brick. Uh, Timolts Ranger. Paper towel. Oh, under five layers. All right. Now just imagine when I put the brown over the top of that. Oh, coffee. Look at this, this is gorgeous in there. Oh. Pretty soon I'm just gonna sweep all of this stuff onto the floor. Now, I did purposely do this over wet gesso, or wet Mod Podge. It reacts differently. There. 
brown. Not yellow, not blue. Actually, this dark blue will work. I want brown. God damn it. Do I have enough left? This is walnut stain. more in there. I can see it. This will be. See, I get it all over myself here. All right. Um, thinking there. That's cool. Hold on. Might be better that we couldn't use the brown. I just liked it on the bottom. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that dry. And I have to go get in the shower to go to work. But uh, let's begin painting. see how well it just takes to the color and of course I'm gonna to totally vintage all of this uh, I just I kind of want to leave it a little spotty and interesting there will be um, posters and probably a larger poster here I know I did the fabric for strength, but it'll be okay. I'll make it all work. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Again, I truly want to tear it all out and redo it now that I know what I'm doing. Now that I know what I'm making. And how cool could I make the little pop-outs for these guys if they weren't fabric? How cool could I make this, guys? You know what's coming next, don't you? I might have a total destruction moment happening. Uh, the name of the book is Stories and Poems from Kipling. Uh, this was last, this book was uh, 2000, or I'm sorry, 1909. It had had many, many, many editions. Uh, this was probably like the 20th edition of printing of this particular book. But there was somebody on YouTube that had asked that. This is too thick and it's too flimsy. If I were to use cardstock here and 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 make it, it I could make flip outs here. I think pop outs. I think that would be awesome and then I can make my pop outs up top. Oh, see, that's what's going on, too. This pop-out needs to happen from here. Here. And then these pop-out needs to happen from here. So I was trying to do it. I don't even know if I can do it that way. So when this happens, this has to go up. as a separate entity from those going up. It actually folds really nicely. I'm 
gonna think on it. Okay, guys, I gotta go to the shower. <laughs> Bye.